third attempt by a capitalist forces to bring the socialist system to its knees. The new Soviet Politburo decides to play all remaining cards and starts mobilizing class two and three divisions. NATO diplomatic attempts to defuse the conflict receive reassuring answers about Soviet Union's desire for peace, not supported by any change in the Warsaw Pact's troop movements. In the end, the last supporters of the diplomatic approach surrendered to the harsh reality when faced dozens of satellite photos irrefutably showing Warsaw Pact armies massing an attack formation along the German inner border. On, January, on July 23, 1985, DEFCON status finally raised to two, and several NATO countries began mobilization. A few hours later, Warsaw Pact forces started advancing to the Folta Gap. Okay. Are you happy now? Yes. Thank you for setting the stage. Yeah, I'm glad I can do that for you. Yeah. Anything else you need? So the weather is nice. Yeah, yes. Can we just put this on hold and come back, drag in tomorrow? You can leave me <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> next month, right? Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so there should be no grounding or ungrounding of units. 